and welcome back. I'm currently in Joshua Tree. I've already spent a week here and then I have all this week and then I'm leaving Saturday. The whole thing I'm doing right now is trying to find another apartment. The place where I live now is along the Pacific Coast Highway and it's really prone to break-ins and theft and my car has been broken into twice in the past three months. So it's not really somewhere I want to live anymore, although it's really beautiful with the ocean, but I've realized now anywhere I live in the world has to have a beautiful view in nature somewhere, whether that be of the mountains or the jungle or the beach or the desert, it just has to, I have to be able to wake up every morning to a beautiful view. I'm on my hike right now, my morning walk. I'm trying to get back into these morning walks the past month. I've really fallen off the bandwagon in regards to my training and my morning walks. When you're in limbo, like trying to move, it's always a stressful time and you're all over the place. I can't really stay in my place in Malibu right now because there's mold inside of it. I'm in my place right now and they just move everything out. I can't breathe. Look at this. Mold. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I'm dying, guys. Um, and I'm also, ha I can't sleep at night because of the break in. So I've had to get like an Airbnb here in Joshua Tree just to get away from it all, clear my head. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, the place that I've been wanting, they get back to me today and I get that place. So. I'm gonna try and post here more often. I do miss doing my YouTube videos. I just felt like my life isn't really that exciting. But when I look back on this past like year that I could have filmed exciting YouTube videos and I didn't, I'm kind of bummed. So the goal is to kind of try and keep updated with my YouTube channel and sharing cool places and exciting things in nature or travel and fitness and everything else. So it takes a lot of work to edit these YouTube videos. I'm not sure if you guys know, and I don't make anything off of YouTube. So it's just pure passion that I want to put into it to share with you guys my journey and life, my story, which it seems that a lot of you are interested in hearing. So I'm going to try and film kind of Joshua Tree a little bit so you guys can see if you've never experienced Joshua Tree. It's one of my favorite places in the world. It's just a desert, but you can see there are these beautiful Joshua trees all around. Lots of great hiking and climbing. My morning walks have consisted of 45 minutes to an hour of kind of like a brisk walk, but not too brisk. I want to keep my heart rate under 120 beats per minute so that I can kind of get in that fat burning zone. The goal of these walks really is just to clear my mind in the morning before I start my day to also move my legs a little bit and burn a little bit of fat because the lighter I'm able to stay consistent with, the faster and more comfortable and injury free my running is. I found when I was doing these morning walks, walks consistently. I was able to maintain my weight and also to get faster with my running and avoid injury. It just felt great. So I'm trying to get back on that bandwagon again. I'll show you right here what today's workout is on Training Peaks. I'm no longer with a coach. I'm creating my own program. I know it works for me and with my schedule now and I've tried coaches in the past and I just really can't listen to anyone. <laughs> I just have to go on my own time and my own speed, whatever I'm feeling that day. I'm not training for an Ironman, so doing these morning walks and creating my own training plan is sufficient. I am training for half Ironmans though, and still I've done a bunch at this point, so I know how to properly train. I had this week-long pass at Joshua Tree. naked I'm in a towel I'm about to get in a bath right here and I just wanted to tell you something I've had a really rough year to date I've also had a really difficult past week I was supposed to race yesterday uh, 70.3 it was gonna be my last 70.3 of my 20s and it was in Connecticut my home state and there were a few of my friends racing and I was just really I'm, I'm, I've always raced alone so I was really looking forward to racing with my friends and racing in Connecticut really looking forward to it I didn't have the opportunity to race because Thursday 
the morning of when my flight was about to take off, I got sick. I woke up with a really bad sore throat and it only got worse in the following days. Today's Sunday and it's still bad. And I just thought, you know, it's been so cloudy in LA. The place that I'm living has a lot of mold. It's 84 years old and it's full of mildew and mold. It's on the ocean. And I feel that I've just gotten really sick because of where I'm living. It's a rental and I just thought, you know, I haven't seen the sunshine in weeks. There was like one day the past two weeks where there was sunshine in LA. I feel really down and I have to find what I need and what I need is sunshine. So I'm gonna drive to sunshine, which means Joshua Tree, which thankfully is only two hours from me. I drove and clear skies. Going to that moment in time where you can find that solace for yourself and not only just bask in it but take advantage of it and flourish in those moments that you have in the time when you're going to find happiness and focusing when you're in that day when you're in that place when you're in that moment in time focusing on things that will continue to bring yourself greatness and power that only you can control focus on projects focus on thoughts focus on dreams be with yourself be alone be on your own and focus that time solely on yourself and your mind preferably in nature and that's what i found to really help me mentally through depression through anxiety i couldn't take anymore and so i found the place i found the day i found the space i found the time to be able to focus myself and my mind to where i need it to be finding the day that brings you what you need to get out of whatever it is that you're in in your mind. Dark thoughts, negative thoughts, really bad spaces. It's not running away, it's finding the peace in it and going to that peace, feel better and to take advantage of this life and to control your mind, to take control of your mind. And I found that I've done this for, for as long as I can remember. It's not escaping, it's finding the place. <music> to figure out where to go because my lease ended last Thursday. I was doing this record attempt to race the most amount of Ironman 70.3s in a year and I was on that mission. I was doing fine and then I came back to my place and I was still continuing to train but I was having this like these kind of like chest issues with coughing like I was I was just like coughing all the time and I don't get any allergies. I've never had any allergies or anything. Um, but I was coughing the whole time and my mom, while I was away on the first leg of when I was traveling doing my races around the world, she was staying at my place for a month and a half and she was coughing the whole time and she usually is and I was like, are you sick or something? That's a long time to be sick and I was just like, hmm, that's weird, but whatever. Came back to my place and then it was me, like I was coughing the whole time. So there had been this black mold kind of affecting the both of us negatively and I, I brushed it off because I, I don't really like... I don't complain, I don't really, I have no time to worry about that sort of shit when I'm really on a huge mission with my business and everything like that. So I didn't think of anything of it. And then I was having a very hard time remembering and forming my words together, you know, and it really felt like brain fog. I've never had that before. So it's really affected my physical and mental <laughs> state of being and I'm not gonna sue or anything because I don't really have the time for that. I don't have the money for that because this woman who who owns this place is a billionaire. She'll win hands down. It doesn't even matter to try. But um, it's just what life is. And that's what it's like when you rent. When you rent from someone, they own you. Just like when you work for someone, they own you. So whether, whether or not you work for someone or you rent from someone, you're under the control and power of someone else and they own you. And anything that happens to you they have the final say. For you to fight that, well, they make more and they're in more power. So again, they just, they own you and it's 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 their word against yours. But I hadn't been able to live there for the past month because there's been a significant amount of mold in the place. Doubt I'm getting any money back, but it is what it is. And sometimes you just have to abide by people and be a sheeple. 
there's nothing you can really do about it. Anyways, I, I'm trying to figure out where to go. I, I thought maybe I'm gonna go to Palm Springs again. Maybe I'm, I'm gonna go to Boulder or to Big Bear or to Napa, but my heart was kind of leading me to Napa. I love going to Napa at least once a year. It's dry, it's sunny, I love my wine. I also love training in environments that like have trees and hills. So I have my bike in the back and I'm hoping to go for some bike rides, I'm hoping to go for a few runs and just really enjoy the environment of Napa. So I was able to secure a couple promo visits while I'm there and yeah, I'm just gonna really be getting work done actually. It's not like I'm gonna be able to hang out and drink wine and have a nice relaxing time. With my career, it doesn't matter where I am in the world, I will always have to be focusing on my work and my business in order to ensure my own survival. So it's not like I can really hang out. But with that said, who says it's wrong to maybe have a glass of wine while you're working? So that's pretty much what it's gonna be like while I'm there. I hope I was able to give you guys a really nice little taste of Joshua Tree. Not too much. It's hard for me to kind of share that beauty given the time that I was there. And honestly, there's not a lot to see. I mean, if you like being immersed in the desert for a long period of time, then I'd say Joshua Tree is for you or Yucca Valley. But if you want like a lot of hustle and bustle and noise and buzz, then it's probably not the place that you want to go. But if you're a nature person, I'd say so. Tons of wildlife, coyotes and snakes and whatever you're into, like little bunnies every day. I'd see little bunnies every morning there or tortoises. Really beautiful experience to be in Joshua Tree and definitely I'd say a place that is worth visiting. Be sure to subscribe if you really love what I do and hit that like button because it really does help creators like myself with engagement. There's also a little bell so you get notified as to whenever I post. I will try and get more videos up more often, guys. And sorry, I'm looking kind of on the side. I'm, I'm driving, so like as I look in the camera, I'm also looking ahead over there to like pass and stuff. So it's more convenient. I'm not looking into the camera right there. Uh, yeah, let's let's go to Napa. Feels I'm not immune to cry. Outside they have tons of activities to do. It's a very beautiful bed and breakfast. Yeah, wake up in the morning to really, really delicious little box of goodies, which I'll show you right here. It's just amidst the vineyards and it's just like very quiet and serene. And it's been a really beautiful experience to be here. I'll show you the outside a little bit. So that's where I'm staying right there. tree to Palm Springs to LA to Panga up to Napa and now I'm heading to Kings Canyon I'm really happy to be going here and having some time alone there are a lot of campsites around so I'm essentially just gonna stop and, and try and find one um, here's the sign right here I'll show you okay, so quick update I asked if there were any campsites he said slim chances they pretty much all filled up like a couple hours ago but they said that there were a couple that they might have a spot or two, so, uh, but it, he said it's it's about an hour away. So I'm gonna keep driving. If I don't find one, it'll be around 8.30. I'll head back down and I saw that there was a, um, like a hotel or whatever, so I'll just probably stay there or if I can sleep in my car somewhere. Yeah, 
I'll just do that. This is stunning, but the first, oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at this, there's no one behind me, don't worry. Look at how beautiful this is. Holy shit, I actually gotta take a picture. You guys, it's beautiful here, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, okay. But first campground I went to was the very first one. That one obviously bound to be full because people probably don't want to drive all the way to the end, which is actually another 45 minutes from where I am right now. The place I just went to was jam packed, very loud, tons of people, noise, everything. Like I could not even video like this without someone hearing me and I'd have to speak really quietly. I don't want that. I want to be able to, I like can't think with people around me right now. I think we found a spot so in the middle of nowhere. Oh my god, look at this view. There's a little fire kind of pit, a couple fire pits. So it makes me think that people camp up here. It's pretty much away from everything. A little worried about my food. I'll probably put it in the cooler, in the trunk maybe, but I don't want the bear to come. Anyways, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Like no one. So I think I'm gonna call it a night here. She's a little scared, but he's gonna be with me in the tent. He's not gonna go outside the tent. So we are in our tent right now that I set up pretty poorly. It's pretty tight. It should be way more spread out, but it's a little bit confined. Anyways, Kishmir is getting the hang of it. His food right here. He's got his litter box, which I'll empty whenever he goes, so it doesn't smell up his place. The toiletries right here. And then over here I have the important stuff, like the wine, the knife, the flashlight, the lighter. That's his home. He loves his bubble backpack, so like that's his home. He's gonna try and get out of here. <laughs> Good boy, using the litter in the car while we're driving. 